I think our worst moments have been when maybe it is nine o'clock in the morning and I'm calling Ira frustrated and um, trying to get a clear head because we have done probably several 45 minute tantrums and it's, I mean, we're talking chairs would fly and ugly things were said. We thought we could tell them that stealing wasn't a good idea. You're not really supposed to do that. And they would say, oh, okay, we get it and stop. And we had no idea of the need that they had to continue that behavior, to fill something inside themselves. A lot of behaviors that were very much based on fear. Hiding under his bed, hiding in his closet, hiding under the bathroom sink, in the cabinets. He's hurt us, you know, emotionally. He's hurt the whole, you know, the siblings. And I mean, the siblings see what he's, what he's doing to us, tearing down our family. And it's lots of difficulties. It's um, a son that we're estranged from. You know, because, you know, he took all that anger that he was physically and sexually abused and put that on us. A lot of anger, a lot of fighting, a lot of um, chaos, a lot of, you're not my family. Well, our 16-year-old daughter being pregnant, <laughs> that was a pretty rough one for me. She was supposed to arrive in the family and learn all of our values, and that wasn't going to happen. And when it did, we were really devastated. Every day, probably every day since he's been here, um, has been a challenge with him. And then you had the people who said, well, they're adopted. If they're that, you know, if, if they're causing that much trouble, give them back. Not thinking that this is my child.